Hello everyone, this is Al Red Sox Fan coming to you from Al Red Sox Fan YouTube channel. Hope all is well. We're going to bring you some title bout two on the PC. This is a what if matchup. Victor Galindez, WBA light heavyweight champion, taking on John Conte, WBC light heavyweight champion back in the day in the 70s. 15 rounds light heavyweights, there can be only one. A Jim Trunzo promotion. Clash of Champions. WBA versus WBC. One champion to rule them all. From Wembley Stadium, London, England. It's the Argentinian Victor Galendez against the hometown favorite son of England, John Conte. So pull up a chair, it's fight time. Both Galindez and Conte had an excellent training camp. In the Victor Galindez corner, it's Hector Roca, the trainer, and Johnny Taco, the cut man. John Conte will have Mickey Duff in his corner as a trainer. Cut man, Denny Mancini. Both very formidable champions back in the 70s. Had many an action-packed fight, but they never faced each other. Tonight they will. It is a matchup that the creator of Title Bout 2, Jim Trunzo, had always wanted to see. And since I enjoy his game, I'm going to do my best to give it to the world and all the boxing fans. Victor Galendez from Argentina. Overall record, 52 wins, 9 losses, 4 draws, 34 by stoppage. John Conte, the British pugilist. 34 wins, 4 defeats, 1 draw, 24 by stoppage. Conte, definitely the better boxer of the two. As Jim Trunzo put it, the bull versus the matador. The bull being... From the Argentinian Pampas, Victor Galendez, the matador from across the pond, John Conte. This should be a very intriguing fight. Galendez is a slugger. John Conte is the boxer. The referee, and this could favor Victor Galendez, Octavio Moran, who is very lenient. And he lets the fight go. His TKOs come late. So that will that come into play with a bull-like rushes of Victor Galendez? Both fighters are in the ring. This bout is taking place at Wembley Stadium, England's national soccer stadium. It is sold out, packed to the gills to watch this clash of great pugilists. The referee says, touch gloves. They do. Galendez in the blue corner. John Conte in the red. Galendez will have a slight edge when it comes to endurance. We await the bell. And here is round number one. Galendez is going to fight on the inside. Conte able to keep Galendez at bay. And Conte lands. Good job. As he nails Galindez with a combination, starting off that jab. Four punches land for John Conte. Conte looking to capitalize. Galindez smothers him. They tie up and break. Conte still in control. John throws a jab and a right hook to the body. Brings the left up to the head. Grazing shot was the left. Conte working beautifully behind that jab. And again, it's the same combination. Jab to the head, right hook to the body, and he brings a left hook to the head. Good job by John Conte. Excellent job. Here in round number one, he has dominated the first minute of this bout. Conte continues to throw and continues to punch. Galendez gets on the inside, and Conte digs the shots of the body, comes up to the head with a beautiful right uppercut. Galendez looking to bang. Now inside, he lands a chopping right hand, left hook, and another right hand, and that is a big cut over the eye, 
or near the eye of John Conte, that's going to definitely inhibit him in this bout. As we'll bring up the tracker, a horrific cut. The left eye, excuse me, by the left eye of John Conte. That's a lot of blood. He is blinking. We have a minute 42 to go here in round number one. Conte through the blood, throws and misses. No counter by Galindez. Galindez works his way on the inside, but he cannot land. Conte smothers him, and they break. Galindez looks to load up, and again they fall into a clench. A lot of blood near the left eye of John Conte, now on the shoulder of Victor Galindez. Galindez, they're mauling and brawling on the inside. Referee breaks them. Conte looking to do something here. Conte's going to land. He's fighting through the blood. Four punches. He throws two of them get through. Two to the body, two to the head. He is firing away, but again, that's a lot of blood near the left eye. Conte continues to fire, and Conte lands those beautiful uppercuts on the inside. Galindez bores in, but he is eating punch after punch, but the blood continues to flow from that cut above the left eye of John Conte. Galindez pursuing Conte, and there's the bell. They're going to quickly get to work on that horrific cut, That the one combination that Victor Galindez landed, busted open John Conte. So a huge round for the English pugilist, but a horrific round. Quickly on his stool, Denny Mancini goes to work on that cut near the left eye of John Conte. Mickey Duff says, you're going to be okay, champ. In the Galindez corner, they're telling him, as we're getting through the interpreter, Work that cut. You got to let your hands go. Conte did a beautiful job of boxing that round as he was the matador to the bull-like rushes of Victor Galindez. But that cut is going to be bad news for Conte. We prepare for round number two. Here's the bell. Mancini has done a good job of containing that horrific cut near the left eye of John Conte. Conte will fight from the outside. Galindez will try to bore in. Conte in control. And Conte's letting his hands go. Another four-punch salvo. Everything working off the jab. Two jabs, a right hand, and the left hook to the body. Raising shots, but scoring shots. Galindez gets in tight, and Galindez stands and bangs as he rips the rib cage of John Conte with left and right hooks. Conte looks to come back, but Galindez smothers him on the inside. Now they tie up. They work their hands free. Referee breaks them. Galendez still pursuing Conte. Conte circling. Galendez trying to cut off the ring. Galendez stands and bangs. And again, he gets on the inside. Left to the body, right to the body, and a left uppercut snapping the head of John Conte. Blood starts to flow again near the left eye of Conte. Galendez... Throws and misses on the inside. Conte smothers him. Now tries to move away. Galendez fires again and misses. Conte staying from distance. Blood giving him a problem. Conte looking to land the right hand. Willie. Galendez gets underneath the jab. Comes up. And he is firing with a 1-2-3 combination. Snapping the head of John Conte with the first two shots. Then digging the left hand into the ribs of the Englishman. Galindez doing a much better job in this round. Conte on his horse. Galindez continues to try to cut off the ring. Conte moves one way, comes back, and he nails him! Uppercut right hand. Excellent job by John Conte. Galindez looks to fire back. He misses. Conte on the counter, and he's going to land again! Left, right hooks to the head of the charging Argentinian bull. Under 30 seconds to go in round two. Both fighters are warned for the rough stuff. And there's the bell. So a better round for Galindez, but John Conte rallied at the end. That's a very close round. Very close round. 
Once again, as soon as Conte sits on the stool, Denny Mancini gets right to that cut, begins his work, cut near the left eye, just above and to the side of the left eye of the Englishman, John Conte. Victor Galindez in his corner, Hector Roca, again through the interpreter, is telling Victor, be busy, be busy. Conte has done a beautiful job of boxing, even with that cut that came early in round number one. Both fighters off their stool. We prepare for round number three. The bell. Conte is going to fight on the outside and try to pick apart the charging Victor Galindez. Galindez tries to work his way in. Conte ties him up. They break. Galindez again gets inside. Works his hands free and lands a quick one-two to the head of John Conte. Galindez continues to try to work. Conte ties him up. Galindez trying to rough up Conte. Doing a good job cutting off the ring. Galindez again gets Conte near the ropes. Let's his hands go. Left right to the body. Left right to the head. They were hooks and they scored. Conte slides away from the ropes. Galindez bores in. Conte ties him up. Conte again looks to fire, and he misses. Galendez pursues. Conte again throws and misses. The blood is bothering John Conte. Galendez gets in punching range, and again they are warned for the rough stuff by referee Octavio Moran. Conte finally is going to set down, and he lands! A beautiful job! Conte went one way, comes back with the uppercut the other way. It was a left uppercut, then a right hand and a left hook to the body. Good job by John Conte. Galendez looks to retaliate, but Conte has moved away. Galendez pursues his prey. Conte walks him into the left right. A huge shot by John Conte. Galendez buckles, but he seems okay. Oh, he walked Victor Galendez into that left right. Galendez looks to come back, but Conte has moved away like the wind. And there is the bell. John Conte with a couple of good shots towards the end of that round. We favor Conte in that round. Again, as soon as Conte is on the stool, Denny Mancini goes to work on the cut near and around the left eye of the Englishman. Victor Galendez is having difficulty landing punches on John Conte. I could see the first three rounds all going for Conte. At best, 2-1 for uh, Conte. Galindez possibly took round two as they put a lot of goop near that eye. Will the referee let them do that? We'll see. Again, the referee, a very lenient Octavio Moran. We prepare for round number four. Galendez is going to try to swarm Conte once again. Galendez gets inside, and he lets his hands go. Five-punch salvo, and Conte is wobbled as he is battered back towards the ropes. Vicious hooks to the body and up to the head by the Argentinian bull, Victor Galendez. Conte trying to fight his way off the ropes. Galendez bangs the belt line. Conte looks to throw. He misses. Galendez counters, and he misses. Conte still on those ropes. Now they slide back to ring center. Galendez cannot get inside. Conte, good movement. Up on his toes. Conte trying to walk Galendez into something. Now he ties him up. Galendez is getting frustrated, though he did land a hell of a combination to start off this round. Galendez still pursuing his prey. Conte pawing with the jab. Remember, he walked Galendez into a terrific left-right. Galendez cuts the ring off, gets inside, and he rat-a-tats the ribs of John Conte with a left and a right hook to the body. Galendez continues to fire. Galendez lands a right cross and now another left hook to the body. Galendez in a rhythm. Galendez punching away. A one-two to the jaw of John Conte. 
Blood starts to flow near the left eye of Conte. There's the bell, and Galindez lands at the bell! A left uppercut right at the bell. An excellent round, a tremendous round for the Argentinian, Victor Galendez. The fans here at Wembley Stadium didn't like that. That could have easily have been a 10-8 round, even without a knockdown. Huge round for Galendez. That blood is really bothering John Conte. Mancini again goes to work immediately on that cut in the Conte corner. Mickey Duff imploring Conte to work behind the jab, stay at distance. Hector Roca in the Galindez corner wants them to get inside and bang away, bang away. He is weakening, he is weakening, they are telling Galindez regarding Conte. We prepare for round five. There's the bell. Conte will be on the outside. Galindez gets inside. Conte smothers him. No punches landed there for Victor. Galindez again gets inside and Conte smothers him, ties him up. Starts to walk Galindez back towards the ropes. Referee breaks them. Galindez cannot land. Conte looks to counter. And he missed a huge uppercut on the counter. A lot of rough stuff on the inside. Octavio Moran letting it go. Conte lands the jab and then a right hook to the body. Good job by John. Galindez stays right in there. And again, a lot of mauling and brawling as Galindez tries to impose his will on the Englishman John Conte. A lot of mauling and brawling. The fans here at Wembley Stadium not liking the rough tactics of Victor Galindez. Galindez. Now Conte ties him up, walks him back towards center ring. Conte looking to punch. He misses. Galindez bores in. And Conte catches him with a right cross. It was a feint of the jab and the right cross. Caught the Argentinian. Left hook to the body was grazing. Conte in control. Conte in a rhythm now. And there's a jab and a right hand that nails Victor Galindez as Conte picks up the pace. Conte on his toes. Conte faints. Galindez moves back towards the ropes. Is he baiting in the Englishman? Conte moves back away towards ring center. He does not fall for the trap. Galindez under 15 seconds to go. And there's the bell. A slower paced round, but that round went to John Conte. Worked the jab quite well, and when Galindez got inside, Conte smothered him, frustrating the Argentinian, who's using all kinds of uh, questionable tactics, we'll say, on the inside against the Englishman John Conte. Again, this is the right referee to have. Oct Octavio Moran, very lenient. He lets the fighters fight. Round six is upon us. Galindez again will try to get inside and bang away at John Conte. Galindez in tight, rips hooks to the body, left and right, trying to wear down Conte, keeping him stationary. John Conte looks to come back, faints and moves, side to side movement, circling Victor Galindez. Galindez cannot cut off the ring. Conte moves back towards the ropes. You don't want to be there. Galendez is trying to keep him on those ropes. And Galendez is going to bang away. Pause with the jab and lands the overhand right and a left hook to the body. Galendez. Big right hand off the jab. Conte buckles. He's on the ropes. Galendez looks to follow up. And he will land another right cross and a left hook into the ribs of John Conte. Conte stood up to that one better. Galindez misses a wild right hand there and a left, both targeting the head of Conte. Conte needs to get off the ropes. Galindez keeps him pinned on those ropes. And Galindez banging away with fists of fury. He is windmilling hard punches. And Conte is staggered again against the ropes. Tremendous shots by Victor, Victor Galindez. Conte ties him up. 
Galindez still pounding away as he puts his shoulder into Conte. Looping right hand lands on Conte. And again, a 1-2 to the body. Huge round. Octavio Moran looking. Conte needs to get off those ropes, and he does. He took one hellacious beating after another on those ropes. Tremendous round for the Argentinian, and there's 42 seconds to go in round number six. A slowing Conte is caught by the pursuer, Victor Galendez. Galendez faints, throws the right uppercut, and it snaps Conte's head. Under 30 seconds to go. Galindez going for the kill. Conte on his toes. There is the bell. A huge round for Victor Galindez, Argentina's favorite son. Unbelievable round by Galindez. Lucky the referee's Octavio Moran. Very lenient. And late when it comes to stoppages. Have all the rough tactics that Galindez has been in, in, in imploring come to fruition now. Imposing his will upon Conte. Looks like he has worn down Conte quite sufficiently where he just battered the Englishman against the ropes. Conte, to his credit, buckled a couple of times but stood up to it. Denny Mancini quickly again goes to work on that cut near the left eye. It's above and to the side of the left eye of John Conte, and that uh, happened when Galendez busted him open in the only solid punches he landed early in round one. Very close fight now. Round seven is upon us. They're telling Galendez, you've got him. Round seven. Conte, working off the jab, lands a jab, a right hand, and a left uppercut. Good combination to start off the round for John Conte. Conte looks to follow up, but Galendez bores in and Conte smothers him. Galendez works his hands free, and he rat-a-tats the rib cages of John Conte with a left and a right hook. He stays in tight. Lands a chopping right hand and another left hook to the body. Galendez looking to work hard. Conte ties him up. Referee breaks them. Always, when Galendez gets close, he is looking to rough up John Conte. Conte gets a little bit of distance, but Galendez bores in quickly. Both fighters using their free hand. Referee breaks them. Again, a lot of rough tactics here. Octavio Moran lets it go. And now Octavio Moran says keep it clean. About a minute 28 to go here in round number 7. Conte is not landing. In fact, he is missing. The blood is bothering him from the cut above the left eye into the side of the left eye. Galindez gets underneath the Conte jab. Lands a left to the body and a right uppercut snapping the Englishman. Got through the guard of Conte. Now Conte ties him up. Referee breaks them. Conte tries to keep at distance. Galendez bores in. Conte moves away. Good side-to-side -side movement. Under a minute to go in round number seven. John Conte staying on the outside looking for an opening, but he's not punching. And there's the bell. That was a close round. I think Galendez did out-hustle Conte, though. It's very close. This fight is very close. Early rounds seem to go for Conte quite well. But Galendez roughhouse, rock'em, sock'em tactics. He gets on the inside. He's using the shoulders, the head, wrestling tactics. Those tactics have seemed to wore down John Conte. Mickey Duff in the Conte corner is telling him you need to be busy, throw some punches. Again, they have to be very wary of the cut. The Glinda's corner, they seem a bit more happy now. They see their WBA champion wearing down the WBC champion. They're expecting a stoppage late in the fight. Round 8, the bell. Conte's going to 
Trying to stay on the outside. Galindez is going to try to bore in. Galindez gets in close, and he's going to bang away. Left hook to the body, right hook to the head, another left hook to the head. Conte buckles. Galindez looks to follow up with a big shot, and he will. Four punch salvo. Conte is knocked into the ropes from the winging hooks of Victor Galindez. Galindez goes for the kill. Galindez pounding away. Left, right, and then the uppercut splits the guard of John Conte. Conte ties him up. Galindez works his hands free. Galindez lands a left and a short right hand. And down goes John Conte. Galindez goes to the neutral Two. corner. Octavio Moran Three. picks up the count. Four. Five. Five. Six. six seven. seven. Eight, eight, nine, nine. and Conte just beats the ten count. He is in a world of hurt, and there is a minute 53 left in round eight. Victor Galendez swarming Conte. Conte at ring center. It is an all-out assault, two-fisted assault upon John Conte. He's beating hit and hit and hit over and over again. Conte. Dodges that bullet for a moment, and now he ties up. Galindez has his moment in the sun, and again he is throwing wildly and missing. A rubbery, rubbery leg. Conte is somehow able to avoid those shots, but not these. And again, Galindez bangs the body and comes up to the head with furious hooks. Conte looking to throw, and Conte lands. A left uppercut and a chopping right hand. More out of instinct. But Conte tries to follow it up. He misses. Galendez goes for the counter and he misses. A minute left here in round number eight. Galendez gets inside and again works the body with the left and the right. And then a left uppercut snapping the head of John Conte. Octavio Moran looking on. How much more punishment can Conte take? Conte knows, knows it. And he lands a lead right cross and a left hook to the body. Fans on their feet here at Wembley Stadium. They tie up. They work the free hands. They break under 30 seconds to go. Galendez coming in and landing again. Ripping shot. That is it! That is it! He was ripping shots of the body, came up to the head, buckled. John Conte snapping his head over and over again. Conte buckled, buckled. Galindez was going to go in for the kill. Referee Octavio Moran leaps in and calls a halt with only 12 seconds left in round eight. Victor Galindez has become the undisputed light heavyweight champion of the world. He holds on to his WBA championship and takes John Conte's WBC championship in a thriller from Wembley Stadium, London, England. It was the Argentinian Bull defeating the British Matador. So that's how it goes in our Jim Trunzo What If productions. On the Facebook group page for Straight Jab Media, the Facebook group page of Title Bout 2, Jim Trunzo said that he would have loved to have seen this matchup. And I think every fight fan would have loved to have seen this matchup back in the day. So we gave it to you. And what a matchup it was. It was the power, strength, and Bull determinist, determination, excuse me, of Victor Galendez winning the day over the Matador John Conte. Again, Octavio Moran stops the bout when John Conte is unable to defend himself with 12 seconds left in round eight. Conte had gone down in round eight, and Galendez just continued to pound away, pound away, pound away, pound away, and pound away some more. And that's all she wrote for John Conte. Let's get the official announcement and look at the judges' scorecards. Here we go, the official announcement. At 248 of round number 8, Victor Galindez defeats John Conte via TKO as the referee Octavio Moran determines that John Conte can no longer defend himself and stops the bout. 
Let's save that. Steeler fan 1933 was here at ringside. Thank you very much, our good friend Matt. Now let's go to the judges. How did the judges see it? We had we had the fight close, but we saw Galindez starting to pull away as he got in that rhythm. That cut didn't help John Conte. That cut came in round number one. The only solid combination that Galindez scored, and it busted open Conte near the left eye quite severely. Judge Tom Lotit had it 68-66 Galindez. Terry O'Connor saw it 67-66 Galindez. Yuri Arbakov, Yuri Arbakov saw Galindez 67, Conte 65. So it was a very close fight at the time of the time of the stoppage in the 8th round. Um but the writing was on the wall. And it did not favor John Conte. He is stopped in the eighth, loses his WBC championship. Victor Galendez now holds both titles, the WBA and WBC championship. Again, this was a mythical what-if matchup, and it was a lot of fun. I brought it. I thought of this one after reading uh, on the Title About Two Facebook group page, which is Straight, um, straight Jab Media, uh, Jim Trunzo post about how he would have liked to have seen this fight and Jim Trunzo even though he liked John Conte said he thought Galendez would get Conte and he was right Galendez got Conte now we did save the stats let's make sure yes we did close that and there you have it that was a lot of fun this is title about two hope you enjoyed it uh title about two on the BCP on the PC, excuse me. Check it out. Very fun game. There's a free demo. Highly recommend it. Also recommend Glory Days Boxing Card and Dice, which can be purchased at sidelinestrategies.com. Brought to you from our good friend Anthony Crooks, Bleacher Bums Gaming on YouTube. And if you're, and again, I love all my boxing games. Legends of Boxing, ASG Games from Stone Mountain Press. All fun games. All, I highly recommend all of them to bring them to a sports sim library near you. So once again, this was Title About Two. Jim Trunzo game on the PC. It's also on tabletop. And we showed you the light heavyweight set. It was a tremendous, tremendous fight. I uh, hope everyone enjoyed it. We had Steeler Fan 1933 here. Mark Jones was here. Galindez was a great mauler. He mauled the crap out of uh, uh, <laughs> John Conte. And Bud W. said good fight. Thank you very much, gentlemen. See you soon. Stay safe. Be smart. Happy St. Patrick's Day for those who celebrate St. Patrick's Day. But just another reason to be happy, right? So that's a good news. Um, treat people the way you're treated. I greatly appreciate your time. I love you all. I'll see you soon. God bless. Bye-bye. You know what's coming, folks. Victor Galendez stops John Conte in the eighth in front of his hometown fans, Conte's hometown fans, Wembley Stadium, London, England, and...